guys, welcome back. So ma new makeup video today. I'm going to do a pink look uh, on my eyes. So right now I have absolutely nothing on. It's horrendous. It's been a hellish day of stomach situations and nothing working and things exploding. So anyway, I'm finally getting a chance to do my makeup. So um, I'm going in with um, some airbrush makeup. I'm using my Soft Glow 135. It looks like nothing right now, but give it time. Stick with me till the end of this video because it's going to look gorgeous. Um, so I'm going in and I'm just doing a circular motion like I usually do with the airbrush. And I'm just putting my base foundation, just covering up imperfections, acne, dry, whatever, whatever is going on. And I used a little MAC. Uh, NW25 to just put on like acne and darker spots and blended it out with the airbrush. I didn't show that in here because I don't think you guys would care. Anyway, so now I'm going in with a dark peach pink and my idea today is to do a blurred out pink look all around the eye. It's focused more on the ends of the eye and then I'm going to layer to create light and dark. So today I had problems with my gun, of course, because that was just all in part of this crazy ass day. So in between I've been cleaning it. That's my Chanel blush compact that I'm going to use around my eyes. I do not know if they still have it, but I love this. It's a dark, hot pink, and it basically just looks really good on my skin tone and with this airbrush foundation. And once again, if you don't know me, I love mixing products. Regardless of um, what is the ideal way to do it, all makeup or all airbrush, I like combining both. I love showing people what they can do. Um, one, because it's more creative, and two, we all have budgets and we can't afford everything of one type of product. So I want to use the best of all possible worlds to create my look. So I've used a couple different MAC brushes to go around the eyes, and if you're a makeup enthusiast, you already know what these brushes are. There's a blending brush, there's one for packing in the darker shadow, and then there's one to go on the bottom of the eye to blend it out. I'll do my best to list those down below, but I've forgotten the names and they've worn out on my brushes. So you can go by the look of them if you slow down the video. Now I'm going in and I'm airbrushing black shadow on the ends of my eye to give the look of a cat eye, to give the uh, illusion of shadow and of doing my cat eye this way. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I love to do my cat eye. I find it super easy and quick. I mean, seriously, this makeup look takes like nine minutes to do a full face. So I went in with my L'Oreal pencil and did my eyebrows. I like a thick brow. Um, I hope that doesn't scare you. It's my world. And I'm going in with a liquid liner by L'Oreal Norel. And I've listed all these products on my Amazon store, so it's super easy for you guys. I don't make a ton of money. I don't make anything, actually. Um, but if you click on it, you can find products easily. And I think I make pennies. Anyway, so I line the eye in the inner corners. And now I'm putting on these super gorgeous thick lashes that I got off eBay. They are a mink lash. Who knows if they're real? That was a major controversy. I could care less. I mean, they're gorgeous. I doubt they're real. Um, nobody was hurt in the process of making these or applying these. Anyway, and so I've gone in with some dry air and just the lash is quite thick. So I curled it a little bit, bent it, and then I'm just waiting for that glue to dry. I want to cover up the powder or anything on my real lashes so I go underneath so that I can almost seal my fake to my real and just kind of blend them in without overworking them. And now I'm doing my bottoms and I'm just using a sample I got from this gorgeous girl off the Chanel counter who I know and loves me and I love her. And I use this little gorgeous um, Chanel sample to just clean up the the inner and the bottoms of my eye. And now I'm going in with my highlight. I love this. It's called Lady Luck by Dynair. And it is a gorgeous highlight. It's gorgeous for my skin tone. I love it on everyone. And it's got a goldy bronze kind of look. I don't know how else to describe it. I love to do the over my cheekbones, over my blush. I like to do the tip of my nose and the tip of my lip and sometimes on the bottom. And now I'm going in just for fun. I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm going to do the lid. It just brings in light. I love it. And because I put my eyelashes, I'm going in and touching up with my liner, which is super easy to do. And that's why I love doing my eyes this way and not like killing myself trying to do a cat eye. Super easy, super precise, and gorgeous. Hella sexy, glammed up. I'm going in with a clean mascara free brush just to clean up any like sparkle that may have gotten on the lash and just push them together, lift them a little bit. It's like an instant eye lift where you don't have to use an 
a crazy uh, eyelash curler. It's a fun way to do it. Now I'm going in with a neutral uh, lip pencil. Um, this is just one I got from an Estee Lauder pack. I'll try and find the name for it. I'm putting a little gloss on that. I have a little highlight already. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> so this has been a crazy day. The camera died, my stomach got really sick, so I've been filming in between and it's just been like crazy. So I wanted to do some more makeup and hair videos because I've been focusing so much on my magazine, Dirty Glamour, which has launched issue four recently. You can find it on MagCloud. But uh, today is all about the makeup. So um, I created this look. I'm actually just finishing it off. So I'm just gonna show you. One side I added in this pink liner, which for my skin tone and my look, it really makes it pop and brings it out. And so I went in darker and made it wider right towards the end and blended it with my eye makeup, my airbrush, and then this is liquid. And then I shaped my lips so it was wider and bigger on top and at the bottom so it created a very full shape. And on the other side, I haven't done it because I wanted to show you the difference and hopefully you can see it in the camera. You can see one's higher and more defined and same in the eye. And it's just these little touches that kind of make your makeup look pop but also is really great for camera if you like taking selfies or you're doing videos or you're getting ready for your first photo shoot. I don't know, but it's also a great way just to finish your look for every day. For some people, this might be one or two steps too much. For other people, it's that little pop that sets them apart or makes their looks come out and makes them go, oh, I love the way I look, instead of going and getting their lips done, which there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do. But this is kind of a fun, easy way to bring out your eyes and your lips. So I'm just going to do the other eye in the hopes that you can see on the video and it just gives you another little tip on how to kind of bring out your eye and lip makeup and just overall the makeup look so you're always photo ready. Anyway, um, so I basically took this brighter pop of pink. It's like a hot pink by Kalalin. I'll put the link down below. Um, and it's just a lip liner and I like using these for my eyes. Uh, on my skin tone I love using pinks and reds and really unusual colors that are usually used for lips. I find they look really good and they just kind of brighten things instead of using that traditional brown or black, which I find for me is too dark um, because my hair is so black and my skin tone is just slightly darker. So I want something that brightens me up. So that's why I contour lighter in the middle of the face and kind of shadow and I want to bring out my eyes and stand out. I don't want to fade and I don't want everything to be so dark. Um, this is a bit of a darker look, but it's got a glam look where I'm balancing light and dark. And if you don't understand light and dark, it's like basic painting or drawing where you're using light and shadow to kind of sculpt your face. And you don't have to do tons of makeup like you'll see on a lot of social media channels to create these looks or to get that definition. These are really great little tips for just doing natural makeup for every day. And this is a little bit darker, but this is my every day. I love it. Um, but uh, once again, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go in darker. And I'm just gently going around the eye, short strokes. And then I'm going to widen it right here so it blends with my eye makeup. And it actually adds a little width and pulls my eye out. And it just kind of helps finish off the look. And I had done the same here. And I just went down below the eye. I had already sprayed it with the pink as you saw earlier in the video. I used a dark peach pink airbrush. You can do that with shadow. I love using and mixing airbrush and regular makeup. Um, one, because I have them, and two, you know, on a budget I can't buy everything. So I use what I have and I use colors that I can use for like cheeks, lips, eyes, and then I add in my little products that I just love because as like any makeup enthusiast, there is going to be products you just can't resist and you want to buy. So why limit yourself? I don't think there's anything wrong with mixing uh, airbrush with regular makeup or just using regular makeup or just using airbrush. It's totally your preference and your budget. So um, today I mixed uh, my regular makeup products from drugstore to high-end Chanel with airbrush. And uh, I'm going to go in and do the next part of the lip. 
So I've just widened in on the top to start, and I'm going slightly past my natural lip line. And I'm going to shade in just in the corners. And once again, it's using that idea and that knowledge of light and dark and shading to bring in depth. And you can blend that in. I had put some gold highlight previous, so I kept some of that. I used a regular, a lighter actually colored uh, pink pencil I just got in like an Estee Lauder um, gift pack my mom had given me. And I used that to fill in the lip. And that looked really nice just by itself, but just adding this little definition on the corners, the top, and rounding it on the bottom gave it that glam look and kind of gave more definition. And you can see it in the video. I can see it because it's my features are coming out a little bit more. So just some little tips to play with. Take a darker liner or a brighter liner than say the lip color or lip pencil you filled in your lips with. Add a little highlight on the top and at the bottom and you can even do it in the center and make your own lip color if you want. And you can just, if you want to, fill in the whole lip. So while I was waiting for my camera to recharge, I uh, it's probably touching my lips, so I'm just going to fill in a little bit. And I just did like kind of these medium pink tones with this darker bright eye. I didn't want to do a big flashy lip today, but I wanted to do something interesting to show you technique and show you color and just get back on track with doing some makeup videos. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you have questions, um, as usual, comment below. I answer all of them. I enjoy doing these videos and I enjoy sharing these products with you. And um, I put links below if you want to see my magazine, Dirty Glamour. I use a lot of these techniques on the models, which are just regular everyday girls that I transform into hella sexy pinups. So um, you can join me as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.